Alright, so I am going to be freezing um, these plums and some strawberries that I had from the garden. Uh, what I do is I take a cookie sheet and then I line it with parchment paper or wax paper, whatever I have on hand, and um, cut the plums in half and pit them. And the strawberries I'll put in the center because this isn't a lined or a rimmed, uh, this isn't a rimmed cookie sheet and the strawberries will just roll off. <laughs> so, um, I have the, the plum surrounding the strawberries so they'll at least not roll off if the tray gets jostled while it's in the freezer. And, uh, they need to freeze for at least two hours before they can be bagged up. After two hours, they won't stick together. They won't be fully frozen, but they'll no longer stick together if they're put into a bag. So, um, but you can leave it overnight or whatever. It just has to be a minimum of two hours. All right. Our strawberries and plums are frozen. Okay, I didn't make sure there wasn't, or I didn't make sure there wasn't enough, quite enough room, obviously, because a few of the plums are frozen to the freezer shelf. So I'll get those off and then we'll bake these up. Alright, there we go. Um, see that they're individually frozen, they don't stick to each other. And um, so I will do more trays and I will finish filling these bags. Uh, over the next couple of days and then work on more bags and more bags. But anyway, it's as easy as that to freeze fruit for future use.